Okay, let's do this. <laughs> okay, so it's been a while since we've posted a video, so I wanted to just do something really quick to, uh, you know, just to do something. And I decided since I've been a little bit nostalgic, I went back and rewatched an old uh, SKE 48 drama, and I decided to do uh, a kind of sort of mini review. So, the drama that I happened to watch is called Mo Deka. This was released back in, when was this? 2011? Six years ago. Wow, it's a lot older than I thought. And, uh, all 12 episodes are available on YouTube to watch. So, after you watch this video, definitely go watch Mo Deka. So, I'm just going to give a quick synopsis, which was given from the first episode. <clears throat> Mansion owner Kuwabara Mizuki invites star SKE48 member Matsui Rana to be a judge of a cosplay competition. Just after settling in, however, the mistress is murdered and the cosplay competition is put on hold. One of the contestants, Matsui Jirina, makes a dramatic entrance as the youngest qualified detective. With possible subjects in the mansion, is there any hope that the Molso Deka can solve the case? This show is great! <laughs> it really is! I was so happy going back and look at this for... Oh, it's so good! I had to... I had to review this, but, uh... I... It's one of those things where I do want to... Review it, go into detail, but at the same time, I don't want to give away anything. Like, it's so good, you have to see it for yourself. Words cannot describe what happened there. So, uh, I decided to compile a little list of 11 reasons why you have to watch Mo Deka. So I'm just gonna read through these really quick. Uh, so that we can get through it. Number one. It is perfect for newer fans who may not know about the group that much yet, or at least they don't know about how they were before, like some of the older members, the members who aren't there anymore, so they can kind of get a taste of what the old SK is like. And it's also perfect for the older fans who did know what that was like, and it gives them that little shot of nostalgia they mean. Number two! It is a parody of mystery dramas, and it is freaking hilarious. Uh, it's sort of a comedy mystery sort of thing. Like, you know when you go to those uh, mystery dinner theater restaurants where they have the, the show going on and they're trying to solve the mystery and there's all this comedy sprinkled throughout it? This, that's this show! That's what this show is. Number three, the members are all really good actors and they get to show quite a bit of their acting prowess. Like, like let's see. Uh, Mizuki, even though... Um, Mizuki's character is dead. There are, well, I should explain this. Um, Moso Deka translates to Moso Detective, or the Delusional Detective. And that's what Judina's character is. She is a detective who uses the power of delusions of Moso to basically come up with up scenarios in her imagination as to what she thinks went down as to how the murder took place. And she uses this on every single person in the room. Like, each episode she goes through a different person making up this wacky scenario as to how they killed them, even though that is not what happened at all. And it can range from plausible to no way that would happen. <laughs> And it's always hilarious to see that. So, like, in each of the Molso scenarios, Mizuki, <laughs> she does some really fine acting. Uh, let's see, who else, who else? Um, 
Uh, Rena was really good. Judy Na was really good. Uh, who else uh, in the cast? Uh, Yagami Kumi and Hira Matsukanoko, both amazing. I will get back to them later. Nakanishi Yuka, she was very girly, which I thought was cute, but kind of out of character for her, because, you know, if you know Nakanishi Yuka, you know. Uh, Kisaki Yuria, she was cute. Uh, Suda Akari, she was funny. Um, Kinoshita Yukiko, Yukiko was cute. Oh, man. And, um... Oh, it only shows, like, the main cast. Okay, because there are other members who come in later, like, uh... Katorumi. Katorumi. I'm not gonna say what her character is, but she was pretty funny when she came about. And, uh, and also Takayanagi Akane. Hers, when she came on, that was a pretty funny episode. <laughs> okay, back on track. Back on track, because I want to get through this. Um, four. Judina is, like, 13 or 14 here? So, young Judina. That's really amazing to see. Again, the whole nostalgic thing, because, you know, like, now she's all, she's, she's 20? Next year she's gonna be 21? Oh. Uh. <laughs> and here she's, like, 13, 14, a little kid! Like, it's so cute! <laughs> uh, five, the most old scenarios. Every single one of the scenarios that Judina come up comes up with is great like hmm it's hard to choose which one is my favorite cuz <laughs> some of them get really out there if I had to choose a favorite it would probably be the one with Takeda Shiori, Kinoshita Yukiko, and Kizaki Yuria which I won't say anything about cuz you need to see <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, number six. Kumi's in Danso. She's cross dressing and she looks very handsome. <laughs> number seven. Kanako, Hiramatsu Kanako, is dressed as a maid and she is the most adorable maid ever. Number eight. Shipping Kumi and Kanako like mad. Like, mad. <laughs> Number nine, Kuwabara Mizuki. Again. <laughs> she is great in every single one of these scenarios. Especially the one with uh, Shiori, Yukiko, and Yuria. That was probably the most outlandish one. Uh, Number ten. Uh, the last four episodes... So, episodes 9, 10, 11, and 12. Even though this was a comedy all the way through, there's a lot of drama that goes down in the last four episodes, and it, it gets pretty intense. Especially in episode 11, where we kind of get into horror territory. <laughs> I, again, I won't, I won't say, like, but episode 11... Kind of scared me at first. At the start of it, it's kind of scared me. And then 11, which I consider the absolute reason you need to see this show is the ending. The final episode is the best one in the entire show. Like, episodes... 11 and 12 together, I think. It was a great finale. And the twist! <laughs> the twist of it all! <laughs> it's too good! <laughs> oh man, I wanna say, I wanna say, but I can't! This is a show that's so good and so crazy! It, it fits this group so well, really, because it's so out there. And yet, the mystery, the comedy, the drama at the end, it's perfect. And I really hope that SKE do, does another drama. Because it's been a while since we've had an 
SKE centric drama. I want that again! Oh man. Alright, so enough of my rambling. <laughs> this was just a short video I wanted to get out of the way, but yeah, definitely check out Molso Deca. Again, all 12 episodes are available on YouTube. And if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed seeing me kind of fangirl over the nostalgia, I guess, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. We will try to get some more out. And bye-bye. <laughs> oh, I love SK so much. I love this crazy group. <laughs> bye.